<laughs> okay, let's go straight there. I know Rito pretty well, so I'll give you the grand tour. Today's a rare day off, so above all, let's enjoy ourselves. <sighs> I haven't been to Rito in a long time, but it feels like the place hasn't changed at all. Then again, a long time for humans is a blink of an eye for the natural environment. Makes me wonder, what is Mondstadt like these days? Yeah, uh, I actually grew up there. Later, my father moved back to Inazuma, and then we never heard from him. I wanted to take him some dandelion wine, so I took the boat here from Mondstadt. Unfortunately, we hit a huge storm on the way, which sank the boat. I fell unconscious, but was somehow lucky enough to float the rest of the way to Inazuma, on debris from the wreckage. Oh, uh, I'll spare you the rest for now. <laughs> um, let me take you around. This is a branch of the Chuyu Trading Company, based in Liyue. They sell ore from that region. I'm guessing you would have seen shops that look like this over there. Ah, hello there. What brings the two of you all the way out to Rito today? Since you're here, you should pick out a special something. We've got some fantastic pieces in at the moment. Like this Noctilucus Jade necklace. Or this Core Lapis bracelet. They may not be top tier in terms of ore quality, but the craftsmanship is simply exquisite. Do either of them pique your interest? Hmm, I think both suit you very nicely. Ah, to heck with it. How often do we get to do this? We'll take them both. But you've got to be fair to us with the price, ma'am. My friend here is actually from Liyue. Oh, really? Well, say no more, Toma. I wouldn't dream of overcharging. How does this figure look to you? It looks very reasonable. Deal. Now then, let me take you somewhere else. Back in its heyday, Rito always used to remind me of Mondstadt. Freedom of trade, freedom of culture, and freedom of lifestyle. Sorry, I need to think about it. Ah. <sighs> This is the Sailing Breeze, a purveyor of Mondstadt wines. As it turned out, one of the first things that greeted me here when I arrived wasn't my father, but wine from my hometown. It must be said though, the wines here aren't quite up to the Don Winery standard. Back when my father was still in Mondstadt, he used to talk fondly of the Angel Share. Of course, I was still a kid back then, <laughs> so I never did get to join him for a drink. And now that I'm actually old enough, the opportunity is gone. <sighs> I hope so. You've been to Mondstadt, right? I assume you've been to the Angel Share? I hear the owner's quite a formidable businessman. Given the chance, I'd love to meet him. When that day comes, we should also grab a drink. Uh, wait, what am I saying? <laughs> Maybe when you're older. Rito's been going downhill ever since the Sakoku Decree took effect. The winds of freedom disappeared, and a dark gloom took their place. <laughs> Ironically though, it's that same gloom that really allows me to thrive here. Toma? Out shopping with your friend? Can I get you anything today? Oh, why not? <laughs> I'll take that toy fox. Which one should I choose? The Sakoku Decree has not been good for business. Merchants have faced hostility at every turn. That's why the International Trade Association got together. Ah, here we are. Bet this takes you back, huh? I'm sure he's getting by. He wrote me not long ago, actually, asking me to deal with the situation for one of the merchants. 
Curry Sue works tirelessly to maintain some sort of order within the business world, despite the entire industry being less than ideal. Must be tough for the guy. <sighs> I hope everything gets back to normal as soon as possible. Excuse me, Toma? It is you! What a coincidence! I was just about to send someone to deliver a gift to you! I don't believe we've met. And if there's a gift involved here, I'm not sure I've earned it. Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> no, no. You don't know me, but I've heard of you before. I ran into some trouble a while back, asked Curry Sue for some help, and he said you were the one that resolved the situation. If you're on the receiving end of someone's kindness, you can't let it go unacknowledged. So, I tried to pick out something that I thought you might like. Something you thought I might like? That's right! So here it is! Some confectionery from Yume no Tenenan, a fine purveyor of Inazuman delicacies. Each one costs a small fortune. I thought this would be the only fitting way to repay someone of your stature. Not to mention that the value of your assistance far outweighs the value of my gift. Do you like it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you managed to cater to my taste perfectly. I humbly accept your gift. Keep up the good work in your line of business, and if you have any further problems, feel free to come find me. I will! Thanks again, Toma! I'll leave you in peace now. Have a good day! You too. Goodbye. Pretty high energy guy, huh? You want to try? This store is indeed renowned in Inazuma. In fact, demand is so high that it's very difficult to come by their products. They're all handmade by top chefs, and the flavor is as authentic as it gets. Great! I'm glad you like it. I'll see about trying to make my own recipe when I get the chance. They're made from a traditional family recipe, though, so replicating them won't be easy. Okay, that about wraps up our nostalgia trip to the International Trade Association. I think we've seen just about everything there is to see in the city. Let's keep heading this way. We don't get to hang out all that often. It'd be a shame to head back so soon. With the change of seasons, retail gives me a different feeling each time I come. Hmm, maybe it's not entirely to do with the seasons. Anyway, the main point is, I'm happy to be here with you this time. I come to this place every time I visit Rito. The view here isn't as spectacular as on Narukami Island, but if you're looking for a relaxing spot, you can't beat this one. I believe that the Sakoku Decree will be repealed one day, and this place will flourish again like it did in the old days. When the winds of freedom finally blow away the gloom, I think I'll have to ask my lady for a long vacation so I can take a trip back home. <laughs> All right, time to call it a day. Let's head back. Hmm? Not ready to leave yet? But come to think of it, I do have a couple more places I could take you. <laughs> oh, there's no need for that. The whole reason I took you out was to thank you for all the help you gave us during the Vision Hunt Decree. As long as you enjoyed yourself, that's all I could ask for. You don't have to give me a gift. Really? Okay, well, now I'm excited. Oh, my. It's... <sighs> this really... Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I'm a little lost for words. This gift is... invaluable. Oh, I know, but I don't mean its material value. I'm talking about its value to me specifically. Um, let me put it this way. The confectionery I received from that merchant earlier, thoughtful gift, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I know it's mostly transactional. I helped him out, so it's standard procedure for him to get a gift from me in return. Also, he picked a brand of fancy confectionery that he thought would meet me at my level, and make it easier for him to approach me with any future requests. If you lend Mora to someone, you can guarantee that any gift you receive in return will have been chosen according to its material value. But 
The gift you just gave me can't be weighed in the same terms. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, at least take this in return. It's an omamori I always carry with me. Again, nothing expensive. But it can bring the bearer good luck. Seriously, I'm not making that up. My father told me. He gave it to my mom, and she gave it to me just before I came to Inazuma. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this omamori was the only reason I survived the storm and made it to Inazuma in the first place. Whatever the truth of it is, I'd like you to have it. <laughs> we sure did. Katsuie from the Kanjo Commission was persecuting those poor merchants. Well, until you stepped in, of course. A lot of people in Rito are still very grateful to you for that. They ask me about you sometimes. If you're interested, I could set up a meal for all of us if you'd like. Excuse me, Toma? <laughs> you flatter me. The store is at least a few decades old, and the chefs who make these have been at it their whole lives. Not sure my ability is on par with that. But if you're happy to be my taste tester on a regular enough basis, maybe one day I'll be able to reach their level. Okay. Oh? I'm touched that that's how you see the situation. I don't think we need to go down that route, though. In any case, as a housekeeper, it's hardly my place to get all high and mighty with other staff in the Yashiro Commission. But you're my guest and I live to serve, so if you have any other thoughts on the matter, please do share them with me. I'm willing to give anything you suggest a shot, as long as it's a serious suggestion, of course. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you right here. Just come and find me if you need anything. So, do you have any ideas? You're asking me what I think Toma could do better? He's busy enough as it is, don't you think? I barely see him around here at the commission. And when I do, more often than not, he's busy with the housework. I think he should carry on doing what he's doing. Everyone's got their own way of living and Toma's no different. Greetings. Welcome to the Yashiro Commission. People have been talking about him behind his back? Surely not. He does a wonderful job and always remains modest about it. Why would anyone single him out? Huh. I can't figure it out. Try asking someone else. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Oh! You're Miss Kamisato's friend, aren't you? Basically, something downright awful's happened, and we're discussing what on earth we should do about it. In preparation for the festival next month, we procured some very precious ceremonial implements from another island. But as luck would have it, our ship got hit by strong winds out at sea. The entire shipment is now sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Well, certainly there's no time to go all the way back out there and buy another batch. Our only option is a gentleman based on Narukami Island by the name of Yusaku. But he's a shrewd one. He caught on to the fact that we needed the goods urgently and raised prices sky high. Clearly he wants to take us for every mora we're worth. It's a real dilemma. We've tried, but he just won't budge. It doesn't help that he has something of a feud with the Yashiro Commission. He once sold us some ceremonial implements of exceptionally poor quality. We returned the items and exposed his malpractice in the process. He's resented us ever since. Now that he actually has the chance to get back at us, there's no way he'll back down. The Yashiro Commission doesn't have any direct authority over merchants. We could file a formal complaint, but the process is long and drawn out, and the festival is drawing nearer every day. Kazumasa and Furusawa have marched off to see him. But I don't know whether they'll be able to resolve it. 
I really hope the festival goes smoothly. I really hope the festival goes smoothly. Oh, that whole situation, huh? <laughs> I heard a thing or two about it. I was planning on finding some time to sort it out after entertaining you. <sighs> it's hard to say for sure. I need to talk with the guy first. Since this has piqued your interest, how about we head over there together? Still, the original plan here was to focus on your enjoyment, not rope you into the trials and tribulations of the Yashiro Commission. Oh, you think so? Well, in that case, I guess I'd better look alive. Well, if that is what you really want, I'd better give this my best shot. Your asking price just isn't realistic. Hey, what point are you trying to make here, huh? If the festival gets delayed, don't say we didn't warn you. <clears throat> Help! I'm being attacked by Yashiro Samurai! What? Hey, cut that out! You little... <clears throat> Take it easy, would you? Look, we're not going to harm you, all right? The Yashiro Commission is forcing me to sell against my will! Doshin! I need a Doshin! <clears throat> Looks like there's no negotiation to be had here. Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> Wait up. <laughs> is that all they got? Amateurs. The nerve. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, you were... Hello again. Wait, I know you. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commission's errand boy, Toma. Do you know how long the Tenryo Commission locked me up for? And all thanks to you, going on about my goods being cheap fakes. You almost make it sound like I planted something and framed you. Those goods were defective, you know that, right? Ugh, you're so pedantic. Think how many festivals there are in a given year. Now, take candles, for example. Do you have any idea how many they go through? I could switch half of them out for duds without a single person noticing and make a small fortune in the process. I was happily providing you with some much-needed supplies. Not only were you ungrateful, you had the audacity to report me! Well, now the tables have finally turned and you're begging for my help. Can you really blame me for charging a little extra? Look, I found out what happened. The Commission's shipment ran into a storm and is now lying at the bottom of the ocean. The festival's right around the corner, so postponing it isn't an option. Right now, I'm the only one selling what you need. If the festival goes pear-shaped and Guji Ai or the almighty Shogun hears about it, they are not going to be happy. And then you'll have a real problem on your hands. So you might want to consider your position here. Oh, come on, boss. This is all a little heartless. Besides, aside from the Yashiro Commission, no one else buys ceremonial items. Surely resolving this dispute swiftly is in your interest, too. <sighs> Don't give me that! The fact is, you're desperate to buy, and I ain't desperate to sell! The batch I have here can go to waste for all I care. It'd be no great loss. <sighs> Looks like we can't come to an agreement, then. Well, I'm glad it's dawning on you. You can either pay up, or look like a bunch of idiots when the festival comes around. Your choice. <sighs> Time's precious, and I've given you a fair slice of mine today. When you're ready to pay, I'll be ready to talk. <sighs> yeah, I think it's pretty clear that he doesn't intend to discuss this any further. I guess his time in the police station didn't make for happy memories. Uh, no need. I can't say I think much of the way Yusaku was acting, but ultimately, the issue here lies with the Yashiro Commission. We were the ones who lost the goods, so the responsibility is on us to find a solution. Otherwise, even if we write this out, the Yashiro Commission's reputation will take a huge hit. Uh, let's go. There are a few people I want to introduce you to. Ah, if it isn't Toma. 
I must say I'm surprised to see you. Last I heard, you were in Rito. Then you just vanished into thin air. Uh, who's the new face? A friend. Friend? What uh, line of work is this guy in then? They're not a connection, if that's what you're thinking. Just a regular friend. No vested interest here. I originally wanted to take him out for some downtime, but we've ended up mired in commission-related complications. <laughs> okay, I see. My mistake. So, what's the situation today, then? I only ever see you when you need something. Hmm, well, I remember the last time we spoke, you were grumbling about a lack of iron ore. Have you made any progress on that front? Why? You got any supplier recommendations? You are a little out of the loop, my friend. Uh, we increased our bid price a while back. Soon after, we found plenty of sellers were pulling out all the stops to import stock from wherever they could get a hold of it. I heard some people were so eager to get in on the action that they even took out loans to get ahead of the competition. Uh, if you were hoping to enter the bidding now, I'm afraid you're a little late to the party. Sounds like now you have the opposite problem. More iron ore than you know what to do with. <sighs> That's right. We're going to have to select a few sellers from the pool. There are certain candidates under consideration already, but we're still on the fence. I see. Well, would you mind if I gave you a couple of tips? As it happens, I'd noticed that shipments of iron ore had recently picked up. I looked into it a little and managed to get a sense of which sellers had the quality stock, which offered competitive prices, and so on. Huh, you don't say. All right then, here's the list of sellers. Give me your thoughts. These two are veterans of the business. Regular sales, quality stock, but their price is a little steep. I think you could talk them down though. I'd say to around 80% of what they've quoted you. This one sprung up out of nowhere recently in Rito. Their approach is high volume, small profit margins. The quality's not too bad, but there's always a few duds, so you'd need to inspect the goods thoroughly upon receipt. This one grabbed a loan and leapt straight onto the bandwagon. In their haste, I fear they may have ended up with the mixed bag as far as quality is concerned. Given that their price isn't particularly competitive either, I wouldn't consider them if I were you. Wait, I know this name. Ah, uh, yes. I believe we're on the same page here. <laughs> to be completely upfront, this is really quite important to me, so your help in this regard would be greatly appreciated. Don't mention it. It's no skin off my back. There is something I hope you could do for me in return, though. Recently, several of our deliveries of iron ore have been getting stolen. Is there anything you can do to help? It's the worst on the road between Konda Village and Inazuma City. <sighs> something always seems to happen along that stretch. No problem. We'll be back before you know it. <laughs> I guess you have a few questions. I'll explain everything later. But it looks like we'll need to get to work pretty soon. Thank you for helping look into the situation with our deliveries. This hurts. Those monsters came out of nowhere. Thank you both for your help. Who are you? Hi there. Yasutake commissioned us to come and assist with the delivery. Uh, huh, wonderful. I was starting to think I'd never get this iron ore to its destination. Uh, so do I owe you anything for this? Nope. This is between us and Yasutake. He's the one you should be thanking, if anyone. All right, let's do this. Let's dance! Don't get too close! Support and fight! <sighs> Careful. There'd be more monsters to come. Almost there now. One final push. Yeah. 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 
<sighs> All right. I think we can leave the goods here. Many thanks. There were so many monsters, I didn't even see where they came from. It was a dicey situation. The route should be safe from here on out. <sighs> we'll be heading off now. Sure thing. Again, my thanks to both of you. <laughs> All in a day's work. Come on, let's go. Worry no more, good sir. Your goods have been safely delivered. Good to know. As for the issue you needed my help with, I have someone on the case. You can expect a resolution very shortly. You always seem to be cleaning up for other people behind the scenes. It must keep you pretty busy. Seems to eat up all your personal time, too. Speaking of, uh, I'm going to need your help again in a few days' time. There's a meeting coming up, and several trade associations will be fighting tooth and nail over the chance to make a profit. You will have to mediate on this one. Ah, that rings a bell. Not a problem. I'll be there. Oh, uh, one other thing. I heard Sakai gave our guy a loan a while back. Just thought you might be interested to know. Huh, is that so? It sounds like I should go talk to him then. Uh, thanks again for all your help. Much obliged. Think nothing of it. Goodbye for now. I'll see you in a few days' time. Okay, this problem is halfway solved. That was the Quartermaster of the Tenryo Commission. He's in charge of all of their procurement, and also responsible for keeping their weapon supplies intact. Making weapons involves purchasing raw materials, so he's the key decision maker in all the related trade in iron ore. The iron ore trade is actually what I was discussing with him just now. On the surface, not a whole lot, I'll admit, but you'll see very shortly. But before that, time to go visit another old friend of mine. Ah, Toma, you too? Yasutake sent someone over already, but I'm telling you, Toma, I just don't know if it's feasible. Really? Why? Is there a problem? You betcha! The guy owes me Mora, for sure, but there's a long repayment period on that loan. If I go hounding him for Mora now, that makes me the bad guy. But as I recall, the only reason he was entitled to such a long period was because at the outset, he had a business relationship with the Yashiro Commission. So, if we sever ties with him, surely he'd have to pay you back right away. In principle, that's how it works, but I'd still be the one who has to take all the flack. I'm just a small timer, you know? People like me need stability and security, not to go rocking the boat. Come on now, let's work something out. Weren't you after some Noctiluctus Jade last time we spoke? We can put our heads together and get a hold of some for you. Mm, well, Noctiluctus Jade would be good for starters, but... For starters? I'd say that's plenty for now. You don't want to go biting off more than you can chew, right? You... <sighs> okay, fine. If you bring me some Noctilucus Jade, I'll get my hands dirty for you. Great. All right, let's go and find some. Okay, is this enough? Plenty. Leave the rest to me. I promise you'll be satisfied customers. You know, Toma, you haven't changed one bit. Same mindset, same style of working. I sure hope the two of us never get into a conflict. Fingers crossed our cooperation will stay happy and healthy for a long time to come. Don't you worry. Unless you've got plans to cause trouble for the Yashiro Commission, the future looks bright for all our future dealings. Ah, <sighs> that's good to hear. Okay, I'll be seeing you folks. <laughs> Don't worry. People whose attention is always focused on other people's weaknesses tend to expose their own weaknesses pretty easily. Uh, let's head back to the Yashiro Commission headquarters. <sighs> what do we do now? We could try uh, asking him nicely. Maybe he'd have a change of heart. I highly doubt that would work. And again, since we don't have any other options, we might as well give it a try. But the samurai spirit... We serve the head of the clan. If the clan is in trouble, we must bear whatever humiliation comes our way to resolve the situation. This, too, is the samurai spirit. 
<laughs> uh, is is anyone there? Huh? What's he doing here? <sighs> he must be here to make fun of us. There's nothing we can do about it. Brace yourself. I apologize. I apologize. Huh? I apologize. Forgive me. I'll sell to you at the original price. No, what am I saying? Make that half price. What's going on here? Toma? Toma, are you here? I was completely in the wrong. However much you need, I'll sell it to you. I've got a warehouse full of stock, too, if you need more. Please, you'll have everything you could need. And without any duds this time, I assume? None! None whatsoever! I'll stake my whole reputation on it! No fakes, no defects. I give you my word. Please! This is my whole livelihood! Don't cut me off! <sighs> Since you've promised not to sneak in any fakes this time around, go ahead with the shipment. Once we've inspected the goods, and if all's in order, I'm sure whatever problems you're presently facing will quickly disappear. Okay! I'll deliver the goods right away! Right away, I promise! You see what I mean? Getting things settled as soon as possible is in everyone's best interest. <sighs> Alright, with that taken care of, let's get out of here. Why was he apologizing to Toma? What's going on here? Hey, Toma! Uh, that's strange. Where'd he go? He was right here a second ago. Okay, the floors are done. Next, I need to dust down the railings. I only took one day off, but look how much dust has gathered. Uh, this is what I mean when I say cleaning is a daily chore. You remember what he said, don't you? His goods could go unsold and it wouldn't bother him. So, the solution in this case was to cut off his main line of business and make him really feel the heat. The Yashiro Commission doesn't have the authority to meddle in the business world, but as it happened, I knew a few of his major customers, so I sorted it out privately. When he realized he couldn't shift his product, had no source of revenue, and wouldn't be able to pay off his loan, he suddenly felt the pressure. Then I just had to make sure he caught wind of what the cause of his problems was, so he'd seek us out to make an apology. It's no big deal. I've dealt with plenty of situations like this in the past. I know you'd like people to look up to me more, but it doesn't bother me all that much. I'm just the housekeeper of the Kamisato clan. Reputation isn't all that important to me. On the contrary, having too good of a reputation can be restrictive. You feel indignant for my sake when you hear people spreading gossip about me, don't you? That says that in your mind, I'm not the kind of person they say I am. For me, that's enough. All I need is for the people I'm close with to know the real me. Thanks for your help in averting a potential crisis for the Yashiro Commission. I owe you one. I'll have to entertain you again sometime. Ah, <laughs> plus I didn't get very far with entertaining you this time around, so I guess I owe the both of you. <laughs>